created. Now sharing. Okay. Um, hopefully you could see the OpenStack um, screen. Um, okay, so let's start. Uh, hopefully you could see it well. Um, so I'm going to start. This is what, what we see here is the OpenStack um, dashboard. It's called Horizon. And we're going to um, stand in a section that manages volumes. And we're going to do some simple use cases. The first one is I'm going to create a volume. So well, now the first thing is I'm going to log, re-log in. So one minute. One second. Okay, so let's start. Let's go back. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I've entered the section of managing uh, volumes, and now I'm going to create a new volume. Okay, I'm going to call it um, demo, demo vol. Okay, and I'm going to give it a size, let's say two gigabyte. Okay, and I'm going to go create it within OpenStack. I see that a new um, demo volume one was created. And if I drill down into it, I also see its ID. It's important to understand that in OpenStack, the name is just a display name. It doesn't have to be unique. But what's important is the ID. So I see here an ID which ends with, uh, if I see here, 6F1. OK, so now I'm going to go into the XMS. One second. Now I'm going to go into the XMS, and I'm going to go and look for that volume. Okay, so I see that the command that I initiated within um, um, OpenStack was propagated, and what I see here is that same volume with the with the same GUID, the same unique ID that was given um, to the volume within OpenStack. I see that it's been created here in the in the Extreme IO um, GUI. Um, Next, what I want to go and show you is I'm going to go and to that same volume, and I'm going to create a snapshot of it. Okay, so again, I'm going into the UI of the OpenStack dashboard. I'm going to give it another name, call it demo snap. Okay, so I went and I created a, a snapshot, and let's go see the snapshot. So here too, I'm going to go and I'll look at its. Um, it has a uh, its own unique ID, its own GUID, um, finishing with one three F. And if I go into the into the XMS um, um, over here, wait, what what is the number? One second, sorry. Okay, here it is. So then I go and I look into the um, um, in the configuration model of the XMS, I see that the snapshot was automatically created within Extreme.io. And the last thing that I will show is I'm going to take this demo volume, and I'm going to go and attach it to a instance or a virtual machine. Um, in my OpenStack environment. So I'm going to choose a virtual machine, and I'm going to go and attach it. OK, so now if I drill down into the details, I'll see that the volume has been attached to this um, virtual machine. If I go now into um, Extreme AI, and if people are familiar with the GUI, they know that this um, moving line represents the mapping between the host, um, the compute resource, and the, and the volume that I created. So I'm going to stop the demo now.